Ford are testing a new hydrogen powered van. Not many people realize that Ford and General Motors have actually invested billions of dollars into hydrogen powered vehicles. This is yet another example. I've reported recently on GM's efforts in the hydrogen field, which they've been pretty quiet about. However, Ford has been going to pretty big lengths to develop hydrogen powered vans and vehicles that they believe will play a significant part in the future. Now, I personally disagree. I don't personally believe hydrogen powered vehicles will be all that. In fact, I don't think they'll be relevant at all within 10 years, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you think in the comments. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Sam Evans and I'm coming to you from Thailand. Big thank you to our Patreon supporters. Really, really got to say thank you to you. And also thank you to our YouTube members. If you'd like to be a member, I'll put a link in the description. Members get access to our videos. Well, about half of our videos a few days in advance, but YouTube members, thank you so much for your support as well. Ford are testing their e-transit. So the e-transit, Ford make a really good electric e-transit. I mean, basically an electric van in the United States. It has most of the electric van market in the US because there's not a lot of other options. Plus it's pretty good. They also sell them in Australia. They sell them in other countries as well. I believe Ford in the future could make some really compelling versions of the van as that technology improves, as they, you know, make a more a more complete product. So the product now, it's like a first generation. Once I get to the second and third generation, those electric vans coming from Ford will be fantastic. But I think Ford's getting distracted here with a hydrogen powered van. What are your thoughts on that? Let me know what you think. Commercial delivery vans are in many ways an ideal place for battery electric powertrains. Many operate locally with relatively short distances, thus not necessitating a monster battery. And they return to the same place each night ready to charge for the next day. But that's not all delivery vans. There are cases where additional range, additional equipment and additional low capacity are necessary and batteries might be a problem, say Ford. So Ford is looking at how to address that with a small set of hydrogen fuel cell e-transit vehicles to test in the UK. Now, the truth is there's more going on than meets the eye here. Ford has actually been secretly working on hydrogen powered vehicles. It's not really talking about this because I think that Ford knows there's a lot of people that don't agree with this. They believe Ford are wasting their money here. That's why I believe Ford have kept this pretty quiet. General Motors have done exactly the same thing. Basically, quiet. Shh, don't talk about the hydrogen stuff. People think it's crazy. Well, a lot of people do, and I think for good reason. Anyway, Ford lays out the reasons the fuel cell would be useful, and it says, this may benefit operators with heavy duty use cases, including long distance transportation, maximum loads, ancillary equipment, such as chillers, and those with limited charging opportunities in the working shift. Now, the thing is though, if there's limited opportunities for charging with an electric power point, um, because we don't have many of those in the world, where exactly will they find all these hydrogen fueling stations to refuel their electric hydrogen powered vans? That's my question here. If the problem is not being able to find enough places to charge, isn't a, aren't you facing exactly the same problem with not having enough places to refill your hydrogen powered vehicle? Now Ford says that the maximum load aspect comes into play with battery weight. Batteries are heavy and if you need more for longer range, it just gets worse. And as the battery weight increases, the payload decreases. If you're delivering heavy products, that's a problem, especially if it's over long distances. And of course, if you need faster fueling or have other equipment pulling from the battery, having a fuel cell is helpful. Unfortunately, Ford hasn't really given any specifications on its fuel cell test vans, other than that it has a fuel cell stack for electricity and a tank for the hydrogen. In other words, it still has a battery and it has a hydrogen tank. So it's kind of like an electric hydrogen van, really. Presumably the actual drive motor is the same 266 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque that comes in the electric version of this vehicle. It's not clear if the same 126 mile battery pack is still used or if a smaller one is used to reduce weight. Now there are vans I should point out in China now that have a similar size to the Ford Transit but significantly longer range because they're using higher energy density batteries, which are, those batteries are available to Ford. In fact, the world's biggest battery company, CATL, now makes basically a battery called the Kirin battery, 
and other batteries that have a fairly high energy density that would allow Ford to get a fair bit more range than 126 miles from its e-transit vans. Now we do know the company's working with Ford on development for their hydrogen vehicles because this is just one little aspect of Ford's hydrogen side, BP. Not surprising is it that BP, one of the world's biggest oil companies, is heading up hydrogen infrastructure and production. A company called Cambustion worked on the fuel cell system, Cambustion, obviously you see the link there. Vintech worked on hydrogen storage and Signet Texkimp manufactured the carbon fiber hydrogen storage tanks. As you can imagine, it's not a cheap van. Carbon fiber hydrogen storage tanks. Those aren't exactly budget priced items. Ford has eight of these vans, it's testing. It hopes to bring them to commercialization, I, th I think within the next couple of years. Personally, I, I, as you can see from the nature and tone of this video, I believe Ford are wasting their time and money and effort and they should be investing it elsewhere. But those are just my thoughts. Now, this is quite an interesting scenario in my opinion, considering the fact that Ford is, well, basically intending to fire 10,000 staff in North America this year. It's already fired 4,000, or maybe 4,500 by now. It's fired 3,500 in Europe. It's fired 1,400 in China. It's decreasing its staff in comparison to a company like Tesla, who is consistently on a hiring spree. However, Ford believes this is a good investment. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.